Hey everybody, this is Shanita. Thanks for joining me for another video. I am in the midst of my wash day and I am about to resume after my deep conditioning for my shampooing and conditioning sessions. I use some brand new amazing products. So I'm going to do a separate video on that, but you are here to join me so that I can show you the rest of my styling wash day. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll find something here that will be helpful to you. We'd love to have you to subscribe and hang around and learn and join us as we all try to figure out this whole hair journey situation. So I am going to be, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. So I am going to be starting here with my leave-in conditioner and I'm going to be using a new butter and I'm going to be using a new oil. Everything I'm using in this video is new as well. I'm feeling adventurous, obviously. So this is what I normally look like coming out of the um, shower, just having deep conditioned my hair and rinsed it out. And I normally just twist it back up and put it back in these little big Bantu knots pinned up with a hairpin and my hair is feeling amazing i cannot wait to share my shampooing session with you it is so 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 soft but i do but, not like for my hair to uh totally dry out between processes it is so so important for my hair that i put the leave-in on while it is damp so I'm about to do that. So the one I'm going to be using today is a new one. This is from a brand called Reclaim Your Crown. This is their rice water leave-in conditioner, which moisturizes, strengthens, and detangles. It is made with organic ingredients. And uh, there are just a few ingredients, you guys. It is made with rice water. It adds lavender oil, xanthan gum, phenoxyl, capril, glycol, sorbic acid, and vanilla essential oil. Very, very few ingredients. Very simple. No mineral oils, no parabens, no sulfates. It is a very clean company that uses clean products. So the first thing I notice is normally when I see rice water um, products, they usually are a little darker in color. You see that this is like completely opaque color. So let's give it a try. I'm going to spray it into my hands just to kind of see what it feels like. It feels nice, very, very slippery feeling. And I like it. Okay, so we're gonna go for it. I'm going to make sure I saturate my hair in leave-in conditioner, I always do. After you rinse out your conditioner while your hair is still wet, you want to make sure that you are adding a leave-in conditioner that is going to hydrate your hair and have the moisture to penetrate down into the inside so that whatever you put on top will help to not only moisturize but seal in that moisture so you can get your hair nice and moisturized. This feels really, really good and I love how it performs. I am typically not a uh, spray leave-in person. My hair is kinky and coarse and thick and typically I do um, cream leave-in conditioners and especially in the winter time but this one actually feels nice and moisturized oddly enough I was looking for like some other ingredient like glycerin or something and there is no glycerin I'm shocked it feels great. So I'm going to continue doing the same thing to my entire head, put it back up in the sections, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to style. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I realized after I was getting ready to start styling my hair that I never once mentioned what I was styling my hair with. It's late. Bear with me. So I am finally going to be using Crea Botanicals. Spunky Scott, one of my early subscribers, sent this to me over the summer, and I am just now getting it giving to it. This is their mango twist and braid. Oh, that's what it says. Mango twist and braid holding cream. It says it provides hold and definition. And several of you have talked to me about this. I just had a conversation with somebody about it who bought it for Black Friday. And so this is a company I've known about. Um, I've for years, like years, but for some reason, I just never bought it. You know how sometimes you just, you feel drawn to something. And then sometimes you're like, Okay, I'll just try it whenever. So it just was meant to be because she sent me this. 
Um, and I think that she said that she enjoyed it and she just wanted me to try it. I'm so, so grateful that you sent it, Spunky. Thank you so much. I hope you're watching. I really appreciate this. I was not being ungrateful by not using it for so long, but I was trying to get those um, smaller known brands in that most people didn't know about before the holidays just just lots i just got lots of stuff so i am finally going to be using this today and i am thrilled about it it says our cream provides hold for twists braids and other styles without leaving a stiff crunchy feel helps to de helps to define your natural curls mangoes contain vitamin a c and e responsible for providing nourishment to hair this cream seals in moisture preventing water loss does not build up does not cause build up and washes out easily may use with any of our gel creams for extra holds and definition. So I'm hearing a lot about hold and definition, but I have not read anything yet that talked about moisture. So let's see what the ingredients are like. Um, first of all, they're small. <laughs> okay, I feel good about this. Water, mango butter, cocoa butter, olive oil, castor oil, sunflower oil, mango ash dried, oh, tons of moisture in here. So good, <laughs> because I used a lightweight um, leave-in conditioner. And so if this is gonna give me the definition and hold, then beautiful. All of those uh, ingredients I just named, not only moisturize, but they will also help to seal in moisture in my hair. And I'm also going to top it with a sealer. I think I'm going to just use a lightweight oil to just add on top just to kind of seal it all in and I love that that oil at the end gives my hair that extra little shine and seems to just really hold down free is really good. So I'm going to use my Butter Me Essentials. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to use my um <laughs> Mimi's Curls. We're going back to Mimi's Curls just because I haven't used it in so long. I've used so many oils over the last few months that I've absolutely loved, but this one was the first one I fell in love with and I went crazy buying it and so I want to go ahead and use it up. I know oils can go rancid. This one is in the um, fragrance Honey and Vanilla. It still smell, smells amazing. I know several of you bought this after I told you how great it was and you have all loved it. Not one person said that it was just okay. Everybody loved it. So if you have not heard of this brand, I will put it in the description box. You can check it out. All she does is oils, but it's just an amazing blend of oils. Olive, rice bran, avocado, almond, and then there's ginger, biotin, and essential oils in it. And it is fantastic. So I'm going to be using it to... Um, just seal everything in with. I've been sitting with my plastic cap on top of my leave-in. I do that because like already I can tell, oh my God, my hair feels so good. I can already feel the difference in my hair. If you have a leave-in conditioner that is not really penetrating in your hair or sometimes if your styler just isn't performing like you think it should, what I have found is that, especially with low porosity hair, sometimes that leave-in conditioner is sitting on top of your hair and you really, really want your leave-in conditioner to penetrate inside your hair strands. So what I've started doing was putting the leave-in on and then putting this plastic cap on for about 30 minutes or so. And the just the steam and the heat, the little bit that you're getting, um, allows that leave-in conditioner to just slowly continue to absorb into your hair strands. So now that it's caught on the inside, once you go back with your moisturizer and styler, you'll have better results with your styler. So that is my little tip for the day. Those of you who've been around a while have heard me say it over and over again, but if you feel like your hair is just not staying moisturized, try that. If you feel like, why isn't my leave-in conditioner working? Try that. Sometimes it really is the leave-in conditioner. It just needs to absorb a little bit before you put something on top of it. Unless you're doing a wash and go. You can go straight in for that. So right now my hair feels amazing. It feels really truly different from the time I put the leave-in on. It felt one way after giving it that 30 minutes to soak in. It feels completely different. So much softer. And look at the definition. Oh, I love it. So... I am going to be twisting my hair. I know everybody is shocked. And I wanted to show you this cream if you haven't used it yet. Oh, I think based on all those butters, I was expecting a firm butter, but it's not. Like, this will actually tilt out. Oh, I can't tilt it at all. Tell you what, I'll get a little bit out. 
and just show you what it's like. So it is nice and creamy. I can tell that it has some product in there that has some holding capabilities. There's a little tack you see there as I pull my fingers across that little line there that stays on. It has something in it that's giving a little bit of a, I don't want to call it a sticky property. I always call it tacked. So just so you'll know that it, it's definitely got some hold to it. So um, I'm not going to have to use very much. And I, if nothing else, know it's going to give some hold. That does feel nice and moisturizing though. So I will just let you stay on while I do this first little bit. And then I am going to probably go and watch a movie and catch up with the fam while I finish this up. I can't tell. This is the thing when you try new products. It's so hard to tell what's enough, especially when you're heavy handed like I am. That feels really good. So I'm going to stop there. And then I just take my oil and add maybe three drops. Probably didn't even need that much and just rub it on top from roots to end. And then I use my detangling brush. This is not a detangler brush, this is a styling brush. I'm looking at detangler brushes, but this one is a styler. Start at your ends, being very gentle. Generally, we think, okay, I've already, de I mean, I detangled my hair, so I can just kind of rip through this part. Do not, because our hair is curly. It's going to tangle back up at every single phase. So whenever you can, if you can glide your fingers or a brush through there to give it that little extra detangling, the better. Now, I'm going to twist this a little looser. I'm trying really hard to get away from just like twisting my hair so, so tight. I used to do that all the time. And what I found was I got defined hair, but it would just shrink up so much. Oh my gosh. And it would take forever for me to be able to elongate it. By the time it would fall, time for elongation, it would be time for me to wash it again. So now I've just learned as it's grown a little bit longer to just not grip it so tight and not um, be so, you know, holding it so tight and making sure it's going to curl up. So that is what, oh my gosh, that is growing, huh? A lot of you seen that, but I guess I'm just so busy doing the work of it. I don't really pay any attention. Can't really see it that great, but there's a nice shine to it and feels amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this. I probably won't be back when I'm done because you know it is late at night as I end up doing and I will be exhausted. So I'm going to go to bed and I will see you guys back in about two days when it's all nice and completely dry. Let your twist completely dry. Even if that means you have to sit up under a dryer or some sort of heat source for 15, 20 minutes. If you're going out tomorrow, say the very next day, I would sit up under a dryer or my hooded cap or something for about 15 20 minutes just to get that excess water out of there and then you can let it naturally dry overnight all right i'll see you guys later thanks so much for watching hey guys i am back and it has now been three days and this is my hair that i've already taken down y'all it's so so nice i really enjoyed twisting that up i love the way it felt it definitely has some hold look at this i don't see any frizz anywhere so we'll see what this comes out like once i get to unraveling but so far so good it still feels very moisturized not oily i can feel a um I can feel moisture on it, but it's not oily at all. So I'm impressed already, three days and this is where we are. So I am going to go off and I am going to come back and we'll see how this turns out. All done. I have so much to say, you guys. I don't even know where to start. Um, This stuff is bomb. Like, I cannot believe I waited this long to try this product. Look at my hair, my normally frizzy hair on the side. I still got a couple of frizzy strands, but 
Do y'all see this definition? This is all separated. It's so freaking shiny too. I did add oil to it and you know that always helps. It feels amazing. And, and I cannot believe it took me this long. Okay, let's talk. It's been so long, y'all. I've been through so much in the last three days. I just need to try to piece together and remember what I did. So let's talk about the products that I use in this styling. So I use the um, leave-in, Reclaim Your Beauty. I do remember that. This rice water leave-in conditioner. I really like this. I told you what I thought about it earlier. Nothing more else to say. It said it's moisturizing and detangles and strengthens. Like it a lot a lot and so if you like a spray leave-in that gives your hair just a tad bit of strength it's not enough that you notice it's moisturizing but strengthening very nice and detangling and provides a nice coating on your hair i still think this would be great for a uh, wash and go or if you just prefer um spray leave-ins because maybe you know you don't like Creams that are too heavy, this is make a perfect, perfect alternative. Okay. okay, and so then I went in with the holding cream. This is the Twist Mango Twist and Braid Holding Cream from Crea Botanicals. I don't remember how much detail I gave you about this in the beginning, so if I'm repeating myself, I am so sorry. But this says, our cream provides hold for twists. I did remember. I do remember now. I did say, uh, I did read this because I remember talking about how much it talked about hold. And I was concerned that it was just going to be a lot of hold and not enough moisture. So I do remember doing that. However, now that we're on the other side of this, I wish you all could reach through the screen and feel how incredible my hair feels. It feels so good. I don't have to tell you it has shine because you see it. The definition is out of control like it is out of control and there is so much moisture here my hair has been up for three days and i've got this slight little coating on it which probably mean i use too much you know my heavy hand so there is that tendency that perhaps i use too much i was wondering when i was putting it in how much was going to be enough and sometimes you, you know when you first use a product you're kind of filling it out trying to see how it would work this is so good. This is so good. It defined my frizzy hair. The shine is amazing. The definition is amazing. There's hardly, for me, if you're new, this is hardly any frizz. I typically get a lot of frizz in my hair. Now, my entire wash day this time was brand new. So, I, it is soft. And I, oh, we is so moisturized. It's so moisturized. If you have used this, please let me know what else of theirs do I need to get to complement this. I'm sure that they have a, like, and I just used that spray leave-in. Like, that's all. I never, ever, ever just use a spray leave-in and think that that is enough. It was moisturizing and it had my hair feeling amazing after I used it. But the combination of the two just absolute perfection and whenever I try a product that I love from a brand it just makes me so curious about going back to uh, other brands to see what they've got and I know I'm not the only one I know y'all do that too but I just needed needed to come back and show you this for goodness sakes if this is not something you got then you need this you got to get it like this moisture is so out of this world. This will last. If I did not do a um, wash during the week, this would take me an entire week. And you see the definition. So the definition continues to slowly loosen up. The volume gets a little bit better. I bet this hair probably looks better on three, four day old hair than it does now. I love it. I absolutely love it. I cannot believe this treasure has been sitting in my stash this long. This they are gonna get my follow. They are definitely gonna get more of my business. So let me know your experience with them. What else should I try? What else should I look for? Oh my gosh, y'all are sitting on these jewels and not telling me about them. I am so glad to have tried this and I am absolutely impressed beyond words. I don't even know how else to express it. It's perfect. It is perfect. Have you ever heard me use that, hair, that word before? 
it's perfect. Be sure you follow them. Get you some. Um, it's a great winter butter because my hair feels good. For those of you who have already given um, some suggestions too about hair butter, this one goes on the list. Go and get this one. It will last you and you're going to have hair that you absolutely love for days and days and days. Okay, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not subscribed before and you're just stopping by, I hope you will subscribe because there are going to be lots more videos like this. I have products that I want to show you that I got from Black Friday. I've even got products that I didn't even show you from last year yet. So I am looking forward to the new year and what it has to bring. And if you don't want to miss out on seeing me review these products so that you can get an idea of what they're like and watch me style it to kind of see some tips on the best way to use it, then you need to subscribe. Hit your notifications because I know you're probably subscribed to hundreds of people and videos can get lost in your feed. So if you hit the notifications button, then you will know exactly when I post them. I don't have a design time day in mind i just i tell my subscribers i just do it as the spirit moves so be sure that you are locked in and don't miss anything i'll see you guys in the next video like this one on your way out and i'll see you soon Bye bye